keyframes constitute a very important part in any editing. It's probably one of the most used tools in editing ever. Let me explain. So recently I made a video about AI smart reframe. So in order to use this feature, you will have to have DaVinci Resolve Studio version. And you know what's crazy about it? That even if it's paid, it's not always going to work perfectly and you will still have to do some manual work. And this is where I thought about it. Oh, wait a second. That let me actually explain what is the concept behind keyframes. What is actually keyframes? Keys are actually locations or spots on your timeline. And frames is basically the frames, like every timeline will have either 23.9 frames per second, 30 frames per second, 50 frames per second, depending what you're watching. Like if you're watching a Formula One highlights on YouTube, you'll probably have to watch that in a 50 frames per second because a lot of action, the cars are going super fast. So basically you have 30 frames in one second. Okay. And the keys are these locations on the timeline. I tend to think about this like a destination or like a route. Okay, so you've got your clip. The clip starts A and B. So this is the destination, right? From A to B. So whatever happens to your video clip from A to B is determined by the keyframes and it will vary. You either want to change just the location of the frame you see using transform or you would want to add an effect and determine what happens to that effect during the duration of the clip. So basically, as I said, this is the destinations and the points will determine what happens to the effect or what happens to that transform or to that clip. And I'm going to go to DaVinci Resolve right now and quickly explain how easy it is for you to understand. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but actually, if you understand the concept and the philosophy behind the keyframes, this is probably one of the most important editing lessons you will ever take, honestly. And I'm not even joking. It's super, super important. Keep in mind, this is DaVinci Resolve 20 and everything that's happening and everything I do in DaVinci Resolve 20 might look a little bit different from your DaVinci Resolve if you didn't upgrade yet. Let's say I want to start the zoom in here. Okay, so at this point I go to transform everything because I'm using the transform. You can keyframe in DaVinci Resolve absolutely any effect, or you can keyframe the cropping, the dynamic zoom, the composite, the speed change, the stabilization. You can actually keyframe absolutely every single effect in DaVinci Resolve. We're going to focus on the most simple, most effective effect in DaVinci Resolve, which is transform. Zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right, up, down. I want to start here, right? So I'm going to go to transform now and I'm going to click on this square over here. So this is my point A and I'm going to go to point B and I want in this space only effect to happen. And I'm going to show DaVinci Resolve, well, how much I want, right? The intensity. Okay. How much zoom do I want? Let me go to 110. Okay, great. So what happens now? Look at that. Simple. Two clicks. Boom. Nice. So the zoom in started here, but you can see now my clip is always in zoom now because everything is affected after point B. Now I want at this point for the effect to move away, to go back to where it was to 1.0. No problem. So at this point, I'm going to go and click again. Okay, so from this point, I tell DaVinci Resolve, now I want you to make sure that the effect goes back to where it was. And now a very important second step is to move the playhead there, right? That's point B. And now in between, I want this to go back to where it was to 1.0. Good. Let's have a look at this effect. Going in, stays there for a little bit. And now it should start going back. Beautiful. So what's important to understand here is that the distance between point A and point B, it will determine the speed with which you're going to have that effect. 
as you can see we had more space on the first zoom in then we have smaller distance in the zoom out and that's why it went faster let me actually show you another trick if you're using davinci resolve 19 or 18 or all the versions you would click on the right click here and you will see there uh, read time frames but in davinci resolve 20 it's not there anymore so what you have to go and do you have to go to keyframes over here because in davinci resolve 20 they introduced a new way of doing keyframes which is absolutely genius it's much better much advanced but you know you'll have to go and, and, and learn it if you go over here normally you you'll have this parameters okay so you'll have to go and look for read time frame over here okay when you click on the read time frame go and click on this side over here which is curves and then you touch the curves and then you will see absolutely every keyframe so look you see here this is our first keyframe zoom y and this is go to you see there so everything we did we did on the Y axis. All right, great. Now what I want to go and do, I want to add an effect to, to this smooth zoom in. I want to make it smoother. So what you have to, it's so, so cool. So go and click on this point over here and go to this effect over here. And you go, you either want it linear, is in, is in and out, or is out. And this one, I'm going to go there, is in as well. So look at that. So now if I go, it's so like it's it goes fast and then it stops pretty cool and i think if i go to my second zoom out you'll see this is going quite fast but if i go over here right so i think we have to use the second point because i think the first point doesn't do anything if i do zoom in oh it does actually okay i'm gonna go here so it's gonna but actually from this point to this point it doesn't make any sense to put an ease in because everything is sort of plain so you can add the effect but it's not going to do anything so we will see the effect here actually because if i go here now okay i click on this keyframe i'm gonna go here and go to is in boom let's have a look and it's all like it's all like stops and it's just so cool and you can go and just you know make this bigger command plus or minus you can zoom in you can zoom out you can go and play around with this but you know this video is not about specific keyframes in davinci resolve this is more of a general understanding of how keyframes work if i go here to this effect over here this is just a screen recording that you've seen so many times this effect is called dve and i actually had a video about it i will link into the description so you can have a look at it but it's fantastic so i'm gonna go quickly and reset this effect i'm gonna go to effects and just basically let me just delete this effect okay once it's deleted th th that's all like it it's gone and if i go to transform i think i'm going to transform on but nothing happens here so i can go to transform now and i can either add another zoom in or zoom out or i can play with the keyframes um, but actually i want to go it a bit further and i'm going to show you how you can add keyframes to effects so if i go to effects over here on the left top hand side i'm going to open effects i'm going to go to open effects now to get the gaussian blur okay so if i put the gaussian blur on this okay so now it's everywhere but what if i want this to ease in and then ease out the effect so if i go to effects over here right so every effect will appear here how this will work so at this point my playhead is here okay so everything is covered but i don't want it to be covered so i'm gonna go to this effect over here you can see this is total done same horizontal and vertical you can actually separate them but for this example i'm gonna keep them together so when i go to keyframes over here i'm gonna um, toggle them on you will see that they're actually active both so okay they're active now so what i want to do at this point i want the effect to be zero okay correct and then I want to move my play hat somewhere over there okay and then at this point nothing happens okay all right correct so now i'm gonna press again all right now the effect is active but from this point i want the effect to be where it was in the middle that's a bit too much maybe well anyway doesn't matter <laughs> this for this example i want to be there so let's have a look so this is zero 
and now slowly 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 you'll see the effect will appear fantastic now for how long do you want this effect to appear let's say i want it to go until there and at this point i want to change good if you want to change something now you have to go and press again and add another keyframe and i want for the keyframe to go until here and then i want everything to go out like that okay let's have a look now it's going the effect is there the effect is there it's pretty cool and now slowly slowly it eases out you can actually do the same thing for anything really let's say you want to add a text right so let's go to effects let me go to titles um let me get a title there let's say well whatever title i'm gonna get right let's say this one okay so put the title over here i'm gonna go to my talking head there video let's say i want this title to be there and then obviously when you have this boom the text appears well what if i want this text to you know you can get it the easiest way to do it basically just do that and then the text is going to appear just like that simple that's keyframes as well but that's sort of like automatic keyframes um let's say let's say you want this to disappear to the left perfect now you're going to go here and then you're going to go to settings all right and go and click on the keyframe so at this point i want the text to be there no movement at all i clicked and then after a few frames i want the text disappear to to the left like that okay cool so let's have a look text appears boom boom phenomenal I think I need to mention the fact that you can either add keyframes to the original clips or you can add an adjustment clip that you can actually save and use it for next time. Let me quickly show that. So this is what I do. Let's say if I want this talking head like, okay. So let me go quickly and reset this whole transform and I'm gonna go to um, search over here I think that uh, I think I go to effects and adjustment clip. I'm gonna get the adjustment clip over here. The adjustment clip is absolute genius because I can do absolutely everything with the adjustment clip. Okay, so I go to adjustment clip over here, and again I'm gonna go to like keyframes from this point. I'm gonna go to the next point, and in between I want this to be again 110. Perfect. Okay, cool. Let's have a look. Okay, zooms in. Okay, I want it to stay there for a little bit, and from this point I want I want to press again I want it to sort of like disappear to where it was before let's say at one okay cool let's have a look perfect okay let me go quickly to keyframes I'm gonna go quickly to so I've got a lot of keyframes over here as you can see all right I'm gonna go over there go over here as I said if you want to I'm gonna point this I can't point there if you want to do the is in go again the key is in so it's gonna have a cool so if you make the is in smaller or bigger depending how you want okay i want to make it even smoother so i can drag this point like that so if you can have a look it goes nice very good and the same and then should i should start zoom out very very cool and you can have this you can move this you could drag it you can make it as short or as long you can make the zoom here as much as you want as well you can see if i move this up or down you'll see the zoom is affected okay you can go like that so you can you can actually so much easier nowadays in davinci resolve 20 to to have this you don't need to you know key anything you, once you've put four points there you can you can play with that you know it's so so cool um let's have a look again zooms in stays there for a while and then zooms out cool and this is the adjustment clip and what can i do now i'm going to close my keyframes now i'm going to go and get this adjustment clip and save it in a power bin so power bin should be here in the middle if you don't see the power bin there don't worry about it just go here where these three dots are press on it and go and toggle this on show power bins you see now it's not there show power bins okay and once you're here you'll have a master and then you drag this and you 
put it there like that and this is the adjustment clip and you know what's cool about it that every single time even if i delete this one now right it's deleted it's not there anymore you see there's no effect on this clip over here i'm gonna take this adjustment clip i'm gonna add it here and once i've added it here look what happens boom it's always there so i can use it as many times as i want no matter the project this power bin is will be will be there in any other project thanks so much for watching guys i'll catch you in the next one take care all the best bye bye